we can start making a background with these pulsing circles that I'm going to set to the same colors as we have been using. I'm going to go to B3 and 10. That should be fine. Give it a group 15. Warp it down to be super small and then copy paste. Go the layer behind and then set it to that other color. There we go. I'm going to fix the size of that outline. There we go. Then we're going to copy paste half space down, warp it up to be a bit bigger and then give it a new group 16. Just repeat this process like this until we have pretty cool looking shape that extends all the way down to the ground from the middle of the screen. Ideally, we should have about 10 layers here. I'm going to try my best to make that work. Okay, then I'm going to copy paste, flip and just leave it like that. And we should copy paste and use this every five blocks or so. Give it a group to lock on the screen with, which is going to be 25. Probably move it a bit more into place over here and make it fade on. We're going to start with a move trigger on group number 15, which is going to lock Lock onto the x-axis with 0.95 mod for about 20 seconds. I don't actually know how long. We just copy paste, go to number 16, and we change this to 8.5. We change this to a 7.5 for the next layer. It's going to get faster and faster as we go down through the layers here. Just go to 0.55. Okay, well, I like this. It's just peculiar, I gotta say. I'm going to create a scaling loop for 25, which I have added to that entire set of objects, and we're just going to scale down, I think, three times here. Or should we go layer by layer? I think we should go layer by layer, to be honest, I think that'll be more interesting. 15 and then half block 16. And then right before it ends, we should multiply. We're trying to make a generic kind of layering background here. Okay, they get nowhere near big enough. Undo that loop pretty please. Make this a lot shorter. Take the groups off and then we just have to make it right at the end of that duration line. Boom. That was the problem that we were having. Loop it now. We have to let each scale finish just so we get that ripple. All that's left is the transition in, 